Yeah, much to the surprise of many people, we got a pay raise. Hey y'all, yeah, that's right, we got a raise this year. And I say it might have surprised some people is because it kind of surprised me. The uh, way the economy's been with inflation so bad and all sorts of other things that we know of that we don't have to get into right now, I was surprised that we even got a raise. You got other LTO companies that are cutting city driver hours. They're cutting back line haul drivers to four days a week. Some companies are, are doing furloughs and even laying some people off. So I guess they thought it was gonna be slower. They were being slow. And over here, I haven't really seen it all that much. Now I know we got some terminals that are slow constantly, I think. And we've had a couple of slow periods in the Dallas region, but for the most part, we've stayed busy. They ask for volunteers to work extra on the weekends just about every week. So I'm pleasantly surprised that we got a raise this year. Now last year, the company kind of made expectations a little bit too high on, <laughs> on what we were gonna be able to expect on the raises and they didn't meet the expectations that they set. So there were some upset people over that and if you're at sire if you're on the sire facebook page you can go back and look at all the comments about that but this year they didn't really give us any expectations for a long while we didn't hear that we were going to get one or not get one i guess they were still trying to figure it out and i remember back in 08 i think it was when the economy went bad so bad that we actually gave up a few cents per mile in line hall and it took a few years to get that back and one year they gave us two raises in the same year, which helped get us back to where we should have been. And now we're probably pretty close where everybody's at. So let's get into the numbers. And first I'm gonna say that these numbers are what they're paying in Dallas. And I think it's pretty standard for most of the company. There are some regions where they pay more, I think, like Chicago and maybe up in the Northeast, maybe in Florida, I don't know. But I'm assuming the cost of living is higher in those areas, so they pay a different rate. They have to keep up with what the cost of living is up there. Now, don't get me started on what California pays. They do everything a little bit different out there They because they have to pay everything by the hour, even line haul. They don't pay mileage, they pay by the hour. So if you're in California, it. tell me in the comments how that works. I can't even try to figure it out because I know they got different rates for different things and all that kind of stuff so anyway we're going to start with the numbers here and we'll start with the city drivers city p and d now i don't remember exactly what their raise was last year but i know that in the past year that they were paying 31.55 an hour top pay for city p and d and what they got was a about a three percent raise 95 cents went up to 32.50, 32.50 an hour. Now you guys in Dallas or in the Dallas region that are making this and got this raise in the city, let me know in the comments or catch me on the yard and tell me what you think. If this was what you expected, is it not enough? You know, I'm sure there's all sorts of opinions. Are you glad you got anything? Like some people are just happy to even have a job. So tell me that in the comments on the yard if you see me whatever now line haul miscellaneous hourly which for a long time i thought we were just getting the same thing with the city drivers got but it it's not the same thing the line haul miscellaneous hourly last year i don't remember what the raise was but in the last year we were getting 29.95 an hour and that's for breakdowns delays if you get delayed in a, in a backup from a wreck or something construction and you're there for however many hours you get paid after a certain amount of time uh, long layovers you know and people complain they say we should get paid for every drop every time we fuel more for the it should, it shouldn't be a wait time for the delays and the breakdowns and things like that but for me I don't worry about all that too much because it doesn't add up to a whole lot it'd be nice but I'm not gonna get all bent out of shape over it and breakdowns, delays, and all that, I'd rather just 
avoid that completely and just get paid my regular pay and get home earlier. <laughs> I'd rather not have a delay and a breakdown. But anyway, $29.95 and I'm not, I haven't seen a solid number on what the pay is on that raise, but it's probably 3%, which is standard for the hourly it looks like. And that would bring us to 30, 85 an hour for that kind of stuff. And don't get a whole lot of it, like if we get training. I mean, I'm sure it adds up at the end of the year. If I looked at it, it'd be a nice little amount of money. But the most things that I'm worried about as a line haul driver is the line haul mileage rate. Now, last year we got three cents per mile. It has a little over 3%. I'm not sure I haven't figured that out yet. This year we got almost three cents a mile. It went from 75 and a half cents a mile to 78.3 cents a mile. Just shy of three more cents a mile. I'm happy with that. Again, I'm surprised that we even got one with the way the economy is going. So hopefully the economy does get better. I don't care what your political persuasion is. You want to see the economy do better. I know what I have lost a lot in is my 401k, and I'm not really happy about that. And that could be a whole other video on why I'm not happy about that. But that's what the raise is. Tell me in other parts of the country what you got. Tell me other companies, how's your raise? And this, these dollars and cents numbers, they're no secret. If you're looking to go to work at an LTL company, you're gonna to wanna to know what the top pay is, right? And all these numbers are top pay. You st if you're starting out, you're gonna start out a little lower on any of these, but these are what the top pay is. And you're gonna to wanna to know what those top pay numbers are because that's where you're gonna to wanna to get. And you wanna know so you can compare to other companies that you're considering going to. So let me want, know what you think about the raises in the comments. Uh, by the time you see this video, I'll be silent though, it'll be a couple of days before I get it out. But they announced it yesterday, went to effect yesterday. First check in a couple of weeks, it'll be on. And maybe I'll let you know how much more I made <laughs> on this long run. So stick around, watch some more of my videos. I appreciate it. If you have not subscribed to this channel yet, please subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. Like, share, comment, all that good stuff. If you have subscribed to the channel, I really appreciate it. You've helped me out so far, so really good. So, we'll see you later.